Steve Cooper, Rank Success, and uh, this is the second video in relation to the topic of police promotion applications. And in this video, I wanted to focus on three points concerning applications, and they are story, telling stories, structure, and spelling and grammar. In relation to the first point, stories, every one of your examples that you provide, whether it's 250 words, 300 or 500, has to answer the topic or the question or the task that you've been given to provide your best evidence. And it can be very easy to kind of get lost in that, how that is laid out. So if you remember this first point, it has to tell a story. There must be a beginning, a middle and an end. So that starts you thinking that actually perhaps there is some kind of logic to these um, and telling a story is a good way to think about it. So every one of your examples should tell a story. It's generally good to just use one example against each competency, unless of course you're asked for more. So generally use your very best example and use all of your word limit or your word allowance to work on that one. So start with the beginning, what it was you did, the middle, how you did it, why you did it, and the end. What was the impact of it? What was the outcome? What was the point of doing it? So that's the kind of first point. It's just, it must have a story, it must have a flow to it. Otherwise it can be, it can come across as garbled um, and disjointed to the reader or to the assessor. And you don't want that. You want them to be able to read it with some nice flow and for them to easily be able to pick out what it is they're looking for in terms of assessment. The second point is structure. It has to also be structured. So you might think, well, that is a structure, a beginning, a middle and an end, and telling a story. Yes, it is. But there are also some structures that you can use. So for instance, PAR, if you haven't heard of PAR before, problem, what was the problem you dealt with? Actions, what actions, what leadership actions did you take that align to the competency that that question is focusing upon? And what was the result? Of your actions or the outcome of your actions so as you can see we're starting to squeeze it in a little bit more and to understand the, the kind of structure to how an answer is laid out or, or um, written down so par is one way of doing it problem action result star you may well have heard of star it's used in interviews as another structure what was the situation you were dealing with what was the task that you were responsible for what were the leadership actions that you took and what was the result or the outcome? And an alternative structure, SOAR, which is often um, used by police officers in the Met to construct, in the Metropolitan Police, to construct their promotion applications. It's generally guidance to officers to use that structure. They're welcome to use others, but everybody seems to use SOAR. And that stands for situation. Uh, what was the situation you were dealing with? What was your objective? What were the actions that you took, the leadership actions that you took? And what was the result or the outcome? Now you'll notice with each of those three models in terms of structure, there is actions and result, Alpha and Romeo at the end of them. It's really important that you are aware of those because you can use any or all of them uh, throughout your promotion application just to ensure that you've overlaid it. So what we're seeing is we're starting to build a story that has a beginning, a middle and an end. That correlates with problem, action and result. And then when you've done that and you've drafted it and you've worked on it and you've checked it, a bit like a, a wedding speech, you're going to be working on a draft of it all the time. You never get up and stand out and, and deliver a father of the bride speech or a best man speech from your first draft. There's no way you would do that. It's more likely the audience get to hear the fourth or fifth draft at least. And between those times, you're always polishing and refining and working on it to get it to be the best it can be. And it's much the same with the promotion application. And the third step I just wanted to come on to was the spelling and the grammar. Now, is that important? Uh, the answer to that is yes, it is. Because if people are starting to read through a good application and it's got some structure, it's got a beginning, a middle and an end, and then it's got a uh, problem, action and result, that's brilliant. But what you've also got is 
you have to also then overlay some spelling and grammar checks because if they're reading 10, 12 um, spelling mistakes or phrases, it just takes the polish off it. So if you're not particularly good at spelling, and that's okay, um, get someone who is to just proofread it. They're not looking at the quality of the story or the structure. They're just looking at the grammar, the spelling, and how it's laid out. So three points there. Ensure it's got a story, a beginning, a middle, and an end. You've got to follow a structure, whether that's par, star, or saw. And you've got to check the spelling or the grammar. And that's something that's a continuous work in action. So this is just about building the quality of your, your draft for your promotion application uh, and to get it to be the best it can be. I will be doing another video because, as I've said, it's a broad subject and uh, I will be touching on some other points just to finish this little trio of, of videos as such. Now, if you'd like to see some great examples already laid out, you can do that anytime. You can download a digital promotion toolkit for sergeants or inspectors um, from my website and you'll see some good evidence laid out in start exactly as I've been talking about. And if you like these videos, you can subscribe to them uh, or you can follow me on um, social media, uh, Facebook Rank Success or Twitter at Rank underscore Success. And uh, I look forward to talking to you on the next video in relation to um, promotion applications. Until then, take care.